Hello, and welcome to Tibby Learns Play to the Moon. Uh, first off, I'll say, uh, I've heard great things about this game. This is one of the best story games that has ever come out. I've heard nothing but great things from this game. But that's all I've heard. Just like, this game is amazing, you should play it. Uh, I've not looked up in any of the storyline. I didn't even look at the description on the Steam page or anything like that. However, oh man, it has been, it's been something trying to get uh, this recording set up. Like, uh, it cannot be captured with Fraps or DX Tori, so I had to go grab Bandicam, and uh, I don't like Bandicam, and for some reason, Sony Vegas doesn't like Bandicam either. It gets the video well. But, um, like, it, it won't record, or at least it won't transfer over any audio from Bandicam. So, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with that. But, Windows Movie Maker works. So, there's that. Uh, anyway, um, the, by the time the, the first video of To the Moon comes up, um, I probably will have the names of uh, my Metro Last Light series changed uh, to To Be Learns to Fail or something like that. I might be a little bit more clever later, but um, I've I've had troubles with that as well. With just um, uh, graphical uh, rendering errors that. From, from the time that I render the video to the time that I upload, uh, somewhere in that process, like, small bits and pieces have uh, become corrupted. Um, and me, being stupid, did not save the raw data before uh, uploading. Like, I rendered it, deleted that because it was taking up space, even though I have a terabyte of hard drive uh, dedicated for the videos. But anyway, uh, so if you've noticed, there's been a few minutes here and there where there's just no video. It's just blank. You can still hear the audio fine, but yeah, it's ugh. But recently, the last um, recording session that I did, more than half of it, uh, even like pre-render, was corrupted. So, I'm going to stop Metro Last Light for now. Uh, I'll come back to it later. Quite a bit later. I still love the game, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to step away from it for a bit and come back later. I'm going to do some other things first. Uh, first, To the Moon, of course, but I have some other games that I need to... I've been wanting to uh, get going. Smaller games. So if, I didn't realize that Metro Last Light was going to be so long, but here I am rambling. Uh, I'm going to get a few other games into the works. I'm also going to start uh, doing some runs of Dark Souls, which is going to be a major uh, presence on my channel. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get into the game. I am going to read the, the text, but I'm not going to be doing voices or anything like that just for the sake of my sanity and the fact that I can't do voices. Oh well. I don't know why it fades to gray. Like, I have played this game, just uh, pre-recording and stuff, through this in the first bit of dialogue, just to make sure everything sounds right and such. Uh, I don't even know what the controls are of this game. Uh, I don't know. I've... Apparently this game is great, but just getting recordings set up and such has just been so bad. Yeah. And should be a thud here soon. Yeah, there it is. Kids are confused, so am I. Oh, 
Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran it over anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Huh. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that in your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. And that's all I've done. Like, just that bit of dialogue has... That's been the furthest I've gone. I've never clicked anywhere, especially on the back of the car, so... Yeah, uh, this game seems to have a whole lot of dialogue like that, so it should be... Oh, okay, so I guess I don't click on the car, maybe? I don't know. Go over there. Oh, received equipment. Good, good. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Okay, right-click to talk you menu or cancel. Okay, so we have Dr. Neil Watts, who is a technician specialist of the Sigmund Corp, and Dr. Eva Rosaline. Rosaline, Rosaline, whatever. Senior member, traversal agent. Sigmund Corp. Okay. And I guess I have notes, no notes, e items, equipment. Uh, with a box this heavy, what's inside has to be important. Or it could just be a bunch of rocks. You never know. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have two arrows here now. Um, let's go up this way. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you remember. How thoughtful of you. I guess I have a key that closes the doors. What do we have over here? Um, I don't exactly like this. I'm gonna go see if the other way leads up to the house. Because I'd rather... Let's see what this says. No, no. Front side of it. Usually read a sign from the front. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is asking to be robbed. Or maybe they just want people to know that they are. Does it point the other way? I don't see an arrow on it. I guess I should have read that text, but whatever. I won't read all the text, mainly, mainly, mostly for the fact that, uh, uh, anyway, let's see, oh, there's a rock. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. A boulder? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. <laughs> we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree to uh, tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it call it a night and blame it on that. Okay, so I have choices now. I can either push it by hand, find a branch or abort mission and go home. So we have the strength way, we have the intelligent way, and then we have the lazy way. Huh. I feel like this is going to have multiple paths. That would be awesome. Let us find a branch, because I don't feel like being lazy right now. A branch will do. Um, so I guess... Hey, hey, birdies. Um, gotta go. Uh, receive tree branch. Good. It's a good thing there was a tree branch there. Alright. This better work. Oh. What was that? Was it a balloon? Yeah, it's some kind of air ball. Did you just look at the the thing and be like, oh, it must be a boulder because it looks like one. But... Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. 
Good thing it was telling me that the controls is the left mouse button because I didn't do that enough. I don't know, was that a squirrel chasing a black squirrel or like cats? Or something? I don't know. I don't like the black bars that are sh like up here and down here. It's confining. Let's go knock on the door. Or ring the doorbell or something. I don't know. Oh, it was a knock. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Sure you could, Watts. Sure you could. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering. Not through your blathering, they won't. Oh, oh, and you, okay, something. I lit some. Don't forget the equipment, moron. Nah. I don't get paid enough for this. You don't get paid enough to do your job? Okay. You're carrying it fine. Why are you backing in slowly? Come on. Act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Okay. Dr. Watts and Do Dr. Roseline, I presume? Thanks for coming on shut. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Okay. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just this caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny's Johnny let us live here. I suppose this is this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if that if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Yes, thank you for the controls again. Alright. Let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs? Nah. Why would I want to go upstairs? Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the me melody. Oh, children. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Why is she standing underneath the chair? Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. I do hope that that's loud enough. <laughs> Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. Um, actually, give me one second. I'm going to turn up the sound a bit because that was very quiet for me. I don't know if it was on the recording or not. The, the starting music was ungodly loud and I had to set it down to about 5% on my computer, but I'm going to turn it up 10. Hopefully I don't get blast in the ears. Okay. 
And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a so small meteor uh, meteoroid. Okay. Meteoroid. Yep. Clicky clicky time. Guess there was a door there. Talk. Talk. There we go. Ready to set up? Um, we'll look around first. Gee, you know, I think I like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. I don't know, I guess I can look around places for some reason. Got a bathroom down here. What's this? Oh, lights. Okay. I don't know, it looks nice. Like, this game looks very good. A lot of people don't seem to like the pixel graphics anymore, but this is quite nice. This I can look at these paintings, because i got to walk over to them first. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Looks like a duck, maybe? I don't know. Is that a duck? Might be a duck. I don't know. Anyway, let's get going. I said there's some stuff that. Ooh, ooh, books, books. Some books. Section of readings from medical journals. For some reason. For some reason. Set machine down. Yes, I'll, it'll be just a moment. Can gal. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Or, we're THE experts, I guess. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. Sure you are. That's fancy. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The Jesus just to keep on getting crazier, huh? Geezers, I guess. So, you can, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny is an odd man. Uh, through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have would have known more if I was his paperboy, for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Um... Well, Dr. Watts seems to be kind of, uh, qualified to sit there in front of that terminal. I'll take Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print in this chair. Yeah, of course you are. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Thanks for again showing me that left click does things. <laughs> does most things. So, there was medical journals there, so... 
he reads medical journals. Oops, sorry about that. Just had dinner. Delicious. Uh, what's in here? He keeps his tub filled with water. Uh, nothing else seems to be here. Oh, wait. I saw a hand over here. Unless it was just for that. Yeah. Just for the light. Okay, nothing in the bathroom. There were those paintings over here. A lighthouse, a woman carrying something yellow and blue, an animal of some kind, and a casual picture of three people. Uh, there's a clock over here that I can look at. Oh, wait. Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. Go talk to the doctor. Here, take this. Receive remote patient monitor. That will keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Of course you were. Johnny's hot monitor is now activated in menu. Okay. He seems to be doing good. I'm actually going to take this time to save before I mess something up. Wow. Damn, you see, that is saving. That that was a quick save that you don't get in games nowadays. That's That's good. Okay, okay, I can just see the time. It's about 11, almost 11 o'clock. Okay, anything around the fireplace, on the table. I'll go talk to Johnny and... I forget her name. Kitchen. Nothing seems to be going on in the kitchen. Let's go... There's a candy cane there. Let's go talk to these two. Not Johnny. Tommy? Tommy, I think it's Tommy and Sarah. What you want? Sure on the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Yeah, there we go. Your mother said to ask you to, to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. Maybe? Se maybe. Seriously, I'm, on, I'm with you, Rosaline. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. I like these kids. Or the candy cane mom's hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. I saw it already. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there. Uh, save when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour of the house. What do you say? Well... Yeah, I'll be nice to these kids. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves, too. Alright, I'll get it. I'll, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Come on. It's already there. Don't need to be mean. Come on. I already clicked there. There's that candy cane. Really? There we go. Receive candy cane. Terrible calories. Can I put this back? No, I want to put it back. I'm not just going to leave that there. Oh, what the hell? Come on. I don't want that. Now, this game starts you off in full screen mode, but it's like really tiny box. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it there. So it seems that once played in full screen, but I don't know, it's easier for me to record uh, in a windowed mode. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. With candy cane. Candy cane, candy cane. If you come and give me a tour of the house this instant, I won't sneeze on it. There we go. Okay, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. Your chamber? We need to get keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. 
guessing this is the study over here, maybe, or over there. Wait. Tommy doesn't like... Uh, he doesn't like turtles. Sarah, appraising professional ice cream taster. Aiming for the top. Yeah, aspiring, not appraising. Aspiring. Is this the study? Yeah, this looks like the study. Yes, the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. Is there anything else here that I can do? Let's see. He seems to be a painter, so the, those are most likely his paintings, or at least his wife was. Uh, the Emperor's new clothes. Read passage. And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who has no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them, showed them to him, went up to the carriage. Okay. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which had been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. Okay. Let's see here. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplemented the great Wikipedia origami, or origamia, as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much of its file, or at least widely inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it's made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous uh, band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the re reading of this book. Read more? Sure. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. <laughs> nice. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered in the gentle sunlight. <laughs> I like this game. Uh, maybe another year. Receive broom key. He chose his hiding spot well. Indeed, indeed he did. <laughs> Tommy used to throw books at me and called, called it a book fight. Until one day, I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. We can open the funny room in the basement now. I guess we can. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn the light on before you trip over some. Okay. That might be the room. First was this. The chest is locked. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. As long as it's moldy. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs, he chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. Ah! Children. And siblings is that. The chest is locked. Boxes are filled with colored papers. The cabinet is filled with unused fine china. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. I guess I can go through the door. Oh, excuse me one moment, I need to cough. Ah, that's better. Making loud noises. The door is locked. Open the door with the room key. It's like a cave in here. Oh! Uh... What? A broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. 
It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Poke it. Set it up. Um. Uh, let's set it up. But no, no, I don't. I take it. Receive toy platypus. A rabbit folded out of paper. Okay. I mean, I know of, like, cranes and such, uh, like, you fold a hundred of them and you get a wish, but I never heard of that about rabbits. Why is that one sinking into that table? Um, right. I'm just gonna turn off that light, go outside, 